Hello everyone and welcome back to episode 9 of We the Revolution. It's day 17 now and we have another case in front of us. So a lot of people want him to go free. The funny thing is that I, right now I'm very highly viewed by the, revolution, by the revolutionaries but not by the common folk. It used to be the other way around. Okay, so let's see what you did. So he's accused of counter-revolution and advocating monarchy. Really? And the revolutionaries want him to go free? How did that, ha how did that happen? So, we accuse Raphael Galois of conspiring against the revolution. In his workshop, this old monarchist has been making propaganda materials that depict the capace surrounded by a court entourage and soldiers. Suspicion of his offense came to light at the beginning of the month. At that time, Citizen Galois' establishment was already under surveillance. When we were certain that the suspect had indeed made all of the propaganda materials himself, an officer in disguise was sent to conduct an interview inside the workshop. Answering the interrogator's question, Citizen Galois allegedly stated that the product he was offering was called chess, an ancient game originating in the East over a thousand years ago. The true face of the crime was revealed, however, only upon the demonstration of the rules of this allegedly eastern pastime. In the game produced by Galois, the king is the central and most important piece. The interviewer inquired about it several times, and the accused repeatedly insisted that the rules did not allow for the king to be taken. The queen, in turn, is the strongest piece on the board, which also raises anxiety. Other figures include knights or noblemen, and towers reminiscent of the destroyed Bastille. Even worse, each new game is begun by the player who controls the White King, which is an explicit reference to Louis XVI. <laughs> okay. He crafts chess boards. And... The citizens don't like the rules of chess, it seems. <laughs> Come on, I can't kill him for that. I guess the crime scene would be the workshop. I guess the offender's personality could be that he's a monarchist. Okay, so what else? Demonstration of the rules is probably... I don't know, could this be a counter-revolutionary? No, the White King could be counter-revolutionary, right? Yes. Huh. So destroyed Bastille. Okay, they just say that it looked like the destroyed Bastille. So could this be counter-revolutionary already? Huh. I don't know. What is what about the capes? Guess they could this is like a method? Is this could this be a method? I'm not sure. Let's just try it. We have a few fails. Oh, it was. Okay, very good. The demonstration of the rules is... I don't know, it could be seen as counter-revolutionary. It could also be a course of event. Let's put it to counter-revolutionary and see what happens. No. Okay, then maybe it was a method. No, okay, then it was a course of events. <laughs> so, what about the Bastille? It could either be counter-revolution or it could be a method. Huh, counter-revolution or method? It isn't counter-revolution, because the revolution destroyed the Bastille, right? So it must be a method. Yes. Okay. <laughs> this, is so, this is such a silly trial. I mean, seriously? They want him to be beheaded for crafting chess boards? It seems to me that this time our friends from the guard got, a a, got ahead of themselves. <laughs> yeah, they certainly did. I still need to question him. Introduce yourself. Raphael Galois, a craftsman, your grace. Did you engage in propaganda activities? Pro pro what exactly? Propaganda. Have you been persuading people to support the return of the monarchy? To the guillotine with the sniveling royal lackey? I've done no such thing. I just sat in my workshop and worked, as always. Yeah, I believe that. That poor guy, I mean, he was just doing his work, I guess, and suddenly someone bursts in and arrests him for crafting propaganda. The guard's interrogator claims that some of your pawns are reminiscent of the Bastille Towers. They are. Why? Because in chess you need to make towers, like those in a castle. But why identical to the Bastille's Towers? 
I've never seen any other, so I copied the ones I knew. Okay. Is this prosecutor blind or stupid? Hey, shut up there. Quiet in the ranks. What? Come on, he's innocent. I don't want to kill him. I don't want to go against the jury again. So, I just asked him a question that should have influenced the jury's opinion. It's on, like on the good side. But they still want him to be killed. So what do I do? Because does the game feature a king and queen? Is like, yeah, it does. But I mean, I hope that his chess pieces don't resemble like King Louis and Marie Antoinette as king and queen. But if they they just want him killed, I think I have to lose my reputation again. I was just starting to get into the positive. I don't know. I just I'm just gonna ask him this. Did you show your game to anyone that was willing? Chess? It's not my game, but yes, I've taught hundreds of people how to play. Playing cards also feature a king and queen, so what? Yeah, that's true. So please, jury! Is the game about protecting the king? That is the goal. Why the king and not the nation? <laughs> Are you kidding me? He didn't invent the game, come on! I wouldn't know, this game is hundreds of years old, I... Could you not have changed your- Are you kidding me? That is so stupid! I wouldn't know how to. After all, I'm just a simple craftsman, not- But you could have chosen a different product to manufacture, is that correct? Oh my god. Well, I could have, but I didn't think of it. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, good. Enough, 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 enough. He's, he's going free and I don't want to risk it with this question. Because- the first question was a good one as well. They they shouldn't have incriminated him to be beheaded. I don't want to ask this question and and push it up again. I just want to know what a, about the questions that are going to be asked. Oh no. <laughs> How could I ask him that? Are you a supporter of the monarchy? Did you conceal your workshop? Did you notice that the National Guard was watching you? I mean, I could just guess and hopefully I would do a good job. If I don't do a good job, I will lose reputation, but I, I'm afraid that if I ask him this third blue question, maybe we would get some new information, but maybe not. But I'm scared that the same thing will happen, like, with the other. Although, hmm, did it was it really the question that I asked that pushed the bar so high, or was it already their opinion to begin with? You know what, I'm just gonna try it. Does the game feature a king and queen? Indeed. Who invented this game? I don't know, they say it's an ancient game from Persia or India or somewhere. Liar! Louis supporters are always liars. Hey, shut up there. I know only as much as my father taught me. He also produced this game. In his old age, after he sold his farm. Yes, that was good. That didn't answer a lot of my... That didn't answer the report questions though, but... I don't want to ask him anymore. No. Okay, I'm, I'm just gonna wing it. What? Really? Common folk would hate me so much for this. No, seriously, I'm, no, this is ridiculous. The next case I'm gonna vote in their favor again, but this is ridiculous, I'm not gonna do that. We're talking about death here. Before I was like more on the side of the common folk and, and saying that, okay, yeah, you're right, you're fair, but now they're just going crazy and just want to hang everyone. I mean, seriously, he was selling a, he was selling chess boards, but now it's all oh, a revolution. It's counter-revolutionary. You're going free, dude. One Alban Maurice used a thick stick to beat Blaise Cellier, who was working at her fish stall. According to witnesses, the ruthless blows were punishment for dropping a basket of goods. Uh, still not fair. I mean, it's nothing that I would kill her for, but she's not innocent. <laughs> Whew, okay. It, it saves a little bit with the normal people for me. Nathan Poblin, who manages prostitutes at Place de, de Federes, brutally bet up a client of one of his employees. After he was detained, he testified that the victim did things he'd not paid for. <laughs> well, 
Innocent? You know what, I'm just gonna put him to innocent, because I don't know. Oops. Okay, that didn't go too well with the normal people. Luca Rapaz and Bruno Bosonet broke into the house of Marquis de Rouvroy, tied his butler to a chair and bet him for a few hours in an effort to make him tell them where his master was hiding the gold. When they realized he wouldn't talk, they took silver cutlery from the kitchen and ran away. Uh, yeah, death. Okay, well, at least a little bit higher. This game does horrible things to you, because in the beginning you're like, oh no, I'm gonna be good, I'm gonna be just, but I don't wanna kill people, and then it's just like, oh, death, living, death, living. <laughs> no, you die, you live, you die, you live. Makes me feel bad. So did the confinement confess to the crime? No, because he didn't spread any crime. <laughs> Who was buying the defendant's products? Probably the highborn. What is the goal in a game of chess? To protect the king. Did the defendant advertise his business? So now we can guess. We know that this would have been a bad question for him. He paid for an advertise. I don't think he paid for an advertisement. That would have been strange. So I guess what would have incriminated him would have been if his shop was secret or something. Because it would seem like he would plot something. I'm just gonna try this one, and maybe it's right. Let's see... I hereby declare Rafael Galois not guilty. This accusation was completely absurd. <laughs> yeah, that's true. The judge is a royal lapdog. No, I'm not. You're just being crazy. Yes! Yes! Okay, that was wrong, but okay. Still. Uh, I get a bonus from those from both of these factions now. Very good, but I just think I have to lose it for the next time or I die. Oh yeah, my reputation is intact. So that was it for today. Goodbye. They are lovers, yes. The mayor's daughter and Beatrice. Are you sure? More than sure, Alexei. Do you really think that attacking his family is a good idea? That was easy. Showing a scrap of my vulnerable underbelly and some shiny coins were more than enough to make him believe in our friendship. He is like an animal being led to the slaughter. I will slaughter my friend. And he will not even notice the knife. Designed with class. Congratulations. Thank you. I entrusted the decor to Jacques-Louis David's care. He is an artiste. Yes. I heard that you were friends and political allies. Shall we play? Okay. Defeat your opponent by achieving the best score possible. Losing may damage your opponent. <laughs> really? The game lasts five turns and the player with the highest total score wins. Roll six dice and hope for the best score. <laughs> Get your opponent drunk to reduce their chances of winning. Drinking also lets you re-roll more dice. Okay. Do I have enough influence points for this? Well, let's roll some. If you're unhappy with your score, you can re-roll the dice three times during the whole game. Oh, okay. Gain points for rolling dice with identical values. The higher the number on the dice, the better your score. Okay, so I have two doubles. That's not that bad. Check the detailed score and look out for the special score. I have two doubles, so that's not that bad. It's not a high one, but okay. I Let's just get him drink. drunk. Okay. 
Here you go. What? Okay. You know what? Let's roll again. Oh, okay. So I can choose one to re-roll. Huh. Then I don't want to. I don't know. Just go. Okay, I think I had... Are you kidding me? He's obviously cheating and I can't even... Okay. I didn't have enough influence points to get him drunk again. Huh. No, I'm gonna risk it. Come on, more sixes. Okay. Okay, now or never. I think I'm gonna lose this. So I'm gonna I'm gonna have to choose the low numbers to roll again. You think this bad luck will turn around? Maybe. <laughs> nope. Damn it. I see that you will do anything to gain my trust, even lose intentionally. Nope, that wasn't it. <laughs> How can you intentionally lose at dice games? Ooh. Yes. Evening with the mayor. Oh, okay, so that was... That was it. I had to. I'm sorry. Oh no. Are you kidding me? That's not good. Get away from my territory. He's an enemy diplomat and this is my... Wait a second. So, increase your influence. So how much fervor is there here? You're hostile. Glenn. Maybe lower the influence first a bit. Okay. I have two points. Oh, it's moving forward. At least something. I have two points. I think I'm gonna spend some more with my family. That was it for today, I think. Nah. Okay, let's intrigue. Let's start intriguing. Okay, that was both a success. Very good. Oh no, really? I have to arrest her now? Oh no. Look. Henriot's guards will waylay the mayor's daughter and her lover at the usual rendezvous. Beatrice will be arrested and wait for what happens next in isolation. We will no longer have any use for Marie. No. Tell Henriot to arrest her in an alley on her way to meet Marie. Quietly, discreetly, Henriot will make a show. Let every neighbor know that we want to arrest the traitor. No. Henriot will arrest her before she leaves to see Marie, politely and respecting her rights. <sighs> the poor girl. She has nothing to do with all of this. I don't want to do this anymore. I just want to go back to being a normal judge. Henriot will arrest her. Politely and respecting her rights is a good thing. Let's do it. Let's go with that. I mean, the mayor is a, is a jerk, but not his daughter. This game forces me to do so much stuff that I didn't want to do in the beginning. I want to send people to jail again and not kill them. Today we have only a, we only have several minor cases to deal with. Oh, okay. Ooh. Oh no. He didn't manage to finish to finish the contra construction in time. Yeah. Oh. Seriously, I can't tear myself into pieces. Oh, it's a picture of his older brother. How sweet. What's this? 
You did not meet your obligation to finish the construction of the statue in time. Paris is disappointed. Yeah, I'm disappointed too. But seriously, I need to spend time with my family as well. So, okay. What do we have today? The laundress Corinne Chardin killed her neighbor, Théophile Portier, with a kitchen knife. The tragedy took place in Chardin's apartment. She claims that Chardin had attacked her, but there are neither witnesses nor evidence to prove it. Oh no. And I have to decide now who's going to die. Well, you know what? Innocent until proven guilty, so... Oh no. I'm almost dead. René Galopin, a municipal de official, demanded a bribe from a flower merchant for a good place at the market. When the merchant's daughter came with the money, Galopin locked the door and forced himself on a uh, death. Yes. <laughs> Lucille Picard, the widow of a cobbler, told a creditor who came to collect money, in the past they'd skin a person who at least they wouldn't chop everyone else's head off. When the man asked if she preferred the days of yore, she allegedly nodded. I don't really understand what the offense is here, so she's going free? Whew, okay. Edouard Abadie, a tavern keeper, has been accused of adding dried cone of fire needles to his sausages. The truth came out when one of his clients, Jocelyn Monte, noticed that they tasted strange. The enraged innkeeper tucked him off his stool and threw him out of the building. Well, he was guilty, so... Yes, I'm doing so good with the common folk again. The salt merchant Oliver Pretre ordered some special empty weights which he used to weigh salt. His customers lost 50 grams each kilo they bought. He was not only tricking his customers, but also committing fiscal fraud. Ah, death. Paul Dubuisson is a snake oil salesman. He was caught selling a concoction made of human bones, promising that it would cure hoariness. Not only was the panacea ineffective against the loss of pigmentation, but it also led to many cases of sickness, pain, and vomiting. Ah, uh, death. <laughs> I am shocked about myself. How easy it is for me to sentence people to death now. It just kind of turned into a um, into a black and white thing. It's like so hmm, he's he's not really innocent, so I guess he can't go free. And if he can't go free, he needs to die. Thank you. Even the least powerful deserve justice. Thank you. That was a good day. I think I need to go home and build my statue. <laughs> Although that would be a good one too, because I have the opportunity to do so, and everyone would like me. I need some bonuses again. Hmm. Oh no. Oh no. Why is it always my people that get arrested? I could buy him free. Or I could just... It doesn't really... It doesn't even matter because now I can lose all those points that I want. Okay, you should... No opinion is, pro, is good with aggression. Oh, what about this? Withdrawn is also good with aggression. Attached. What was attached? Was it humility? Nope. <laughs> Kita may be manipulating. I just think I'm gonna go with manipulating. Let's see how this goes. If it's not manipulating, then maybe I'll try carelessness. We'll see. You have the wrong man. Thank goodness you did not hurt him. The consequences would be dire. Such a misunderstanding. What a lark. I must be going deaf. Arresting a spy is now a misunderstanding. Did that work now or not? Absurd. Your prisoner actually works for me. Ah, okay. That was the right one. Your actions reek of treason. Think twice before you decide to stand against me. Busy yourself with seeking out real traitors, and be extremely careful not to pester any more of my agents. If you fail to do so, we will have to go over our little talk again. 
Maybe he's one of yours, I don't know, but evidently he got lost while in town. We just found him and will gladly let him go, though he would appreciate some kind of finder's fee. Well, it was a questionable success, so... But he's free. Oh, they're both injured. He's wounded, but I think he needs to stay here. I hate those revolutionary patrols. Why do they never catch the enemy bruisers, but always my people? Oh no. What? What happened here? Beatrice did not appreciate our efforts. She cried that she was being assaulted and raped and was soon aided by people throwing stones. The guards were forced to use violence. Oh no. Uh, we should. I should have taken the back alley. We must convince her to sign a document stating that she's an Austrian spy, that jean Nicola Pasch was her source and that she reached him through his daughter. No. No, I don't want to do that. Haha. <laughs> Why the hell have I been kidnapped and tied to a chair? There are many whores in Paris willing to play that game with you. So, Judge, will you answer me? Or do you want me to watch you playing with yourself, you dirty old man? Nothing? Hmm. I've heard that someone's been trying to kill you. And now you've been promoted to the elite group of murderers, the princes of the guillotine. Congratulations. I never asked to be admitted to the club, but I did not get there accidentally either. Yes, I can imagine you need a special something for that. Ah, that sparkle of masculine madness in your eyes. You have to sign this document. Is that a story? Any interesting turning points? Treason and spying for Austria, carried out by you and the mayor of Paris. Such an exaggerated drama. It won't sell. Oh, threat, maybe aggression. Why she should sign rationally. What will she get out of it? Maybe manipulation. Although she seems like someone who could do a careless approach might work on, who knows. I think I'm going to fail at this. Friends will not accept the union of two women. Maybe aggression. Maybe humility? No, maybe manipulation. Ooh! Perfect, perfect, perfect. Good, good. I mean, this should be sufficient for a success, right? This document will bear your signature one way or another. Perhaps my irony wasn't clear enough. I have no intention of signing any documents, so you can stuff that somewhere uncomfortable. You can't force me. Can you see anyone here who would stand by you? Has anyone come to help you? No, only I can help you. Do you see those guards? I could leave you alone with them for an hour. Most probably, they will rape you, maybe beat you up. Is that what must happen to make the scales fall from your eyes? Leave Perry. Escape the storm that will otherwise not spare you and is indifferent to your feelings for Marie. America is a good place and the shadow of the revolution will not reach you there. Sign this document. Escape while you still can. Do I look like someone who is terribly concerned about their own life or other people's opinions? For the people of Paris, you will be just another anomaly. They will be like street dogs, tearing apart your meat and tendons for the pleasure of it. Perhaps it really would be better if I left this deceitful country that only pretends the revolution has brought us to salvation. Okay. Oh, that was so uncomfortable. I don't want to do this. I didn't want to. Uh -huh. Although it might be best. Although she, she won't be harmed at least. If she can run away. Although I could imagine that something happens to her on her way out. I don't know. Oh, I'm so sorry. I don't want to do this. 
I don't want to be this person. Okay, so we had another success. I think so far we had a successful intrigue. We failed once, so it's not going to be 100% perfect. So what's with this? Even with the document signed by Beatrice, we still do not have a complete hold on the mayor. He could still ask his silver-tongued friend Danton for help. Pash needs to be entirely alone. If we do not convince Danton to take our side, we still lose. Oh, great, and I still don't have any influence points. I am sure that you're going to explain why you have called for me at such a late hour, especially when it's pouring outside. Oh no. Okay, so bullheaded met well with aggression, I think. Pash is collaborating with an enemy state. Maybe manipulating, maybe aggression. So with bullheaded, I think aggression was like a good approach, but not a perfect. So I think I want to try it. Just for the fun of it, carelessness, because I know if it's wrong, then I will take aggression. Pash is collaborating with an enemy state. That could be aggressive as well. Pash may be involved in the assassination attempt of a judge. Let's manipulate him with that. The judge of the tribunal is a safer bet. Maybe carelessness. Maybe carelessness if it doesn't work, then manipulation. Ha! <laughs> oh, damn it! <laughs> oh no, I'm going to fail! Okay, so I think I'm gonna go with manipulating. Weak, very weak, weak. Huh, okay, then aggression, manipulation, manipulation, humility? I don't know. Oh god. Okay, let's start with aggression. I know about your alliance with Pash. Do not anger me further by trying to deny it. You are overestimating the value of that knowledge. Are you now interested in political alliances between deputies? What did I want to do for the next one? Um, Maybe manipulation. I have a testimony that says Pash is an Austrian spy. We will pressure him into disclosing the names of his allies. That way he will avoid decapitation. His accomplices will not. I'm listening. Let's keep going. You could also be involved with the judge of the tribunal's attempted assassination. After all, you have been collaborating with Pash, who paid for the attack. <sighs> Let's go with aggression. Let the time has come for Pash to be punished. Leave him and become my ally, or share his fate. Choose and be thankful that I even gave you the opportunity to do so. No! No, 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 no! You are forgetting that my name is Danton and that I have many friends in the city. On the other hand, things have taken quite an unfortunate turn. Very well. Let us see where this co collaboration takes us. <gasps> okay, I still managed to do this. Right. I need to know what you and Pash were plotting. I was regarding the Pont de la Révolution. The bridge the builders are not able to finish? It has not been finished because the mayor and I have been obstructing the process. Ooh. Danton told me everything. The construction of that bridge was Robespierre's idea. He wanted to gain the people's support, but there was more to it. His success would weaken the position of Danton, who was secretly against it. So Danton made a deal with the mayor of Paris. The latter was responsible for delaying the construction. Posh must have the documents that prove Danton's guilt. But he will not bring them to me if I do not persuade him. There is only one thing I can do. So we're going to take Danton down too? Or not? Ooh, arresting the mayor. Really? Have we? Do we have to handle his trial as well? There's nothing that I can do, so... I'm just going to end the day. I don't want to be this person. <laughs> it used to be better before, when there wasn't a guillotine. It is day 19 now, but we are going to see what Mayor Pash wants of us in the next episode. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next time.